Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Empires and Puzzles video. And in this video, we're taking a look at Costume Rock. Before we get to this video, if you haven't checked out Gemstone Legends yet, come check it out. There are no joke, thousands of players from Empires and Puzzles that have come over already, and for good reason. Simply put, it's a really fun game with some big advantages over Empires and Puzzles. We both know that the players that join these games earliest are some of the most dominant players. And this game is starting to really take off, so the longer you wait, the more you miss out on. Not only can you support the channel by using the download link in the description of this video, or by scanning the QR code on your screen, but doing so will also give you a free $50 starter bonus with an epic hero, gems, and gold coins, all for free just by using the link or QR code provided. And then when you start, you'll gain access to beginner events exclusively for players who use the link or QR code provided that will give you another strong epic hero, a set of five star legendary equipment, and a platinum scroll for another guaranteed epic or legendary hero. Lastly, I have created a bunch of videos and a Gemstone Legends playlist on my YouTube channel to make learning this game as easy and fun as possible. So hit that download link in the description and get started with one of the most fun and deep match three RPGs. There's a great community in Gemstone Legends. It has some huge advantages over Empires and Puzzles. And overall, I think you guys are really gonna like it. He's got some of probably the worst art in the entire game. I really don't like how they have broken the They've just gone like silly. Um, so it's like an eagle wearing a leather jacket. He's like a statue, but he's wearing a leather jacket and holding a juice box. Ridiculous. However, I think he's <laughs> a really good hero, unfortunately. And that's what I want to demonstrate in this video. So with the changes to the costume, he's gone from barbarian to fighter class. Um... They've got this family bonus, not very good. It's only for two and three heroes, whereas most of the family bonuses they're adapting to one, two, or three heroes. Um, however, stats are pretty incredible. Average speed, all enemies get uh, 800 sand damage over four turns, so that probably goes up to about 1,000. Probably exactly 1,000, actually, if he's got a level 29 mana troop, that's a, or I guess that's a 26% uh, attack increase. So, um, yeah, it's about 250 per turn for four turns, which is quite good, in addition to minus 44% defense for three turns, and finally a dispel. So the nice thing is, if there are some sort of counterattack or other defensive buffs that would normally uh, impede or make dealing damage dangerous, he's only applying a dot damage, so you don't have to worry about that and then can dispel afterwards safely. Obviously, dispelling before is desirable in most cases because if you're dealing damage, it's nice to get rid of these uh, counterattacks or other defensive buffs first. So I think this is going to be a hero that we see on defense more and more. It uh, allows for a yellow hero to place defense down on everyone. Currently, White Rabbit is one of those popular yellow defensive heroes because you're getting defense down to two or three heroes that resets on healing. However, this is um, obviously more significant because it is applying to all enemies in addition to a dispel, in addition to um, this sand damage. Um, and you have a fighter glass, so revive potential. And so here we are looking at a defense with this hero on it. So let's take a look at the troops. 30 is 26, yeah. And then let's jump into battle and see what this... Um, sand damage increases to, and kind of what that does with the overall damage. Yeah, 1,044. So, as expected, just a little bit over 1,000. So, 261 per turn. Um, which is quite good. In addition to the other things that he's doing. The one advantage that White Rabbit has, um, of course, is the mana speed. So White Rabbit is fast speed, whereas Costume Rock is average speed. However, I don't think that makes a huge difference. 
All right, 261 per turn and minus 44% defense. So we're going to go for blues here. Um, let's heal. But I do want to see what some of this damage actually translates to. So don't want to set off everybody. Let's see if this will set off Octrus. So we'll get just a little bit of protection. We'll let Octrus hit with this big def oh man, it's gone. Okay. Well, never mind. Um, however, not an insignificant amount of of dot damage. And I think so when heroes come out, there's often this situation of Oh, why do they have to make this hero purple? I wish this hero was yellow or red instead, because that would have made, you know, X, Y, Z better. And I think those are decisions that are made intentionally, where they don't want to... Like, if there's a hero that's going to work well on defense, they often make them... And this is not true across the board, but, like, Alfred, for example, is a purple hero. I think they intentionally made Gossic, a, the Gargoyle, a purple hero as well, so that you didn't end up with this really stacked rush defense. Um, you know, all the revivers, for the most part, are green. Um, you know, so it becomes dangerous to double up on these heroes. So it's nice to have, what I'm trying to say is with, with this, it's nice to have this defense down in, um, in a different color than the, the typical meta defense. Okay, so not a ton to show there. Everyone's pretty much familiar with what minus 34% defense looks like because we see that on many of these heroes. Um, minus 44, obviously better. Sand damage um, is a uncommon form of dot. So if you're using other dot damage on your team, those are going to stack because they'll be different. Um, the spell is nice. You got to see the stats and we got to see what the sand damage can get up to with a limit break. So this is a, a bit of a quick video, but I think it demonstrates what I wanted to demonstrate, which is some discussion around why I think this hero is particularly good. And, um, you know, for you to be able to see some of the, the numbers in action. Um, so we'll wrap up this battle here and we'll move on our way. Uh, rock is going to be the next costume rock is going to be the next hero that I level in yellow. So I'm just waiting on one dart. I've been uh, preparing with Barbarian Emblems because I do want to prioritize this hero both for defense and also in my offensive teams, specifically on a team with um, Kara, Wolfgang, and Rock. Finally have the uh, magic troops so that I can run three average speed heroes all with uh, the correct mana breakpoint. Um, so maybe I'll do that. Uh, maybe we'll throw that video on here right now, actually, or that test. So let's try to find a purple defense with a tank that's actually out in the front, which is what I would use that yellow team for. Everything's reverse. Wow. Here we go. All right, did I build it already? Oh, I don't have rock max yet. <laughs> All right, scratch that. Um, so we'll wrap up the video here. Uh, let me know if you have any thoughts that you want to share on this. I've been seeing a number of copies of him showing up in top teams, you know, with a limit break. So I think people have been waiting for that defense down hero in a different color. And while average is slower than fast, it's only maybe one turn slower, and so while there are disadvantages to that, um, some of these heroes can be underestimated for that reason, and if you have a fighter, you know, that one turn sometimes won't make a difference because you can revive and smack him after that. So, um, yeah, that's my thoughts on Costume Rock. Let me know what you guys think. 
please hit that like button and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video